In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the Church celebrates the lifetime of St. Mark the Evangelist. We give thanks to God for his witness and for his encouragement of us to also to go out and to proclaim the good news. We offer the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass this morning, especially for all the sick and the housebound and those suffering in particular as a result of this pandemic. We also pray for Joe Boyle, whose anniversary of death it is today, and a special intention this morning is for the repose of the soul of John O'Malley, a young man who has died tragically young from a heart attack. And we remember his family also in our time of prayer. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. All wrap yourselves in humility to be servants of each other, because God refuses the proud and will always favor the humble. Bow down then before the power of God now, and he will raise you up on the appointed day. Unload all your worries on to him, since he is looking after you. Be calm, but vigilant, because your enemy, the devil, is prowling round like a roaring lion, looking for something to eat. Stand up to him, strong in faith, and in the knowledge that your brothers all over the world are suffering the same things. You will have to suffer only for a little while. The God of all grace who called you to eternal glory in Christ will see that all is well again. He will confirm, strengthen, and support you. His power lasts forever and ever. Amen. I write these first words to you through Silvanus, who is a brother I know I can trust, to encourage you never to let go of this true grace of God, to which I bear witness. Your sister in Babylon, who is with you among the chosen, sends you greetings. 
so does my son Mark. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The word of the Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord. The assembly of your holy ones proclaims your truth. For who in the skies can compare with the Lord? Or who is like the Lord among the sons of God? Happy the people who acclaim such a king, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who find their joy every day in your name, who make your justice the source of their bliss. Alleluia, alleluia. We are preaching a crucified Christ, who is the power and the wisdom of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the eleven, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with, my, with believers. In my name they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There at the right hand of God he took his place, while they, going out, preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. The Gospel of the Lord. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news, to all creation. Today is St. Mark's Day, and perhaps we need very briefly to remind ourselves of this, this particularly important man within the Gospels. We first encounter St. Mark in the Acts of the Apostles, where we see him as a young man on a mission. A young man on a mission who was living in Jerusalem during the first persecutions of the church. He was in Jerusalem when James was martyred and when Peter was almost killed. He then goes on to join Paul and Barnabas on their missionary journeys, but eventually, eventually he parts from them and goes out and preaches the gospel for himself. When you remember all of the items of Mark's life, it seems that his entire career took place at a run, in constant danger of being imprisoned or worse. And that's perhaps why his gospel is often noted for its breathless pace. It serves, it's as though Mark simply cannot wait to tell others the good news about Jesus. Now I believe in part that the church offers us saints like Mark, not only as intercessors, but also as role models. So this morning on his feast day, each and every one of us should pause and consider his example. In today's Gospel, Mark recounts how the risen Jesus gave his apostles an enormous task. Go out into the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. And with those words ringing in our ears, maybe today, Maybe today would be a good moment for us to do an evangelization check, if you like, on our own lives. Like Mark, 
we have heard the good news. Like Mark, we know that Jesus expects us to go out and share the good news. Now, of course, we might think that is quite beyond anything that we can do and too difficult. We are worried about saying the wrong thing. We are concerned that we may sound pushy or even worse, sound pious. Or it may simply be that the busy pace of our life can block us from taking up our calling. <clears throat> now, if that is the case, then we can take some inspiration from Mark. Remember, remember, he always seemed to be running around at full speed. And perhaps normally that kind of pace ought to sound familiar to us. But of course, in these peculiar days, when we have far more time on our hands, Perhaps we should take some of that brisk energy of our normal lives and channel it towards serving the Lord. Let each of us ask ourselves this morning, is there an opportunity to stop, to look around, to see if there is someone close to us who could use a word of encouragement, who would benefit from hearing the good news? Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through openness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the glory of St. Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise, and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and to offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we attain. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew. 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring them to the fullness of charity. Together with, <clears throat> together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may manage to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now, my God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy water may sanctify us and make us strong, in the, make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Mark proclaimed. Through Christ, Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.